I'm, uh, I'm Jeff Robbins. Um, I'm J. Jeff on Twitter and Facebook and Flickr and Google.org. Uh, I'm also Jeff at Lullabot.com. Um, LB.CM. Slash J. Jeff. Uh, Lullabot launched a vanity URL shortener uh, a couple of months ago built on a, a module that, uh, that I built. Um, and uh, you can find out more information about me there. Um, I, uh, I'm the co-founder and CEO of a company called Lullabot. Uh, we do uh, consulting, uh, technical architecture, development, general guidance of, uh, of Drupal projects, um, some of our clients. Um, we also do uh, Drupal education, um, workshops, what we call on-site training, which is like private training if you have a uh, a team of people who you want to get smart on Drupal or some aspect of Drupal. Uh, we have trainers who go out and do that thing. <laughs> and uh, um, we also run a, a conference called Do It With Drupal. Uh, we run it for the past two years. Uh, and uh, uh, we're skipping a year, but we'll be running it again next year. Um, and uh, we also do, uh, uh, as if that weren't enough, we do uh, um, a series of uh, DVDs and video training about about Drupal, uh, and we just launched a new website called DrupalEyes.me uh, or DrupalEyesMe, um, which you can find at DrupalEyes.me, um, and uh, it's a subscription-based um, access to all of the Lullabot videos, all of the Lullabot Learn Series videos, and all of the videos from the Do with Drupal conference. Um, it's like. Netflix on demand for Drupal learning. Uh, and it's, uh, it's cheaper than, than the other stuff that we've done. Uh, it's a monthly thing, so uh, I think you should do it. Uh, we've got some cool videos like uh, this one, which is uh, Angie and me basically uh, concepting and building a, a module together. Um, it's just a really great way uh, for us to, to have a sort of outlet for different kinds of videos. Uh, and we're really excited about the site. Um, and it's, it's launched, so you can uh, come to DrupalEyes.me. Uh, we've also got a show special. Um, you can get 50% off the first month uh, with the coupon code AUSTIN2010. Um, AUSTIN2010, write it down. Anyways, there you go, that's the sales pitch. Um, uh, this presentation is called A Whole Lot of Drupal, uh, because we're going to see a whole lot of Drupal. Um, I think, uh, uh, well, originally this, this was part of a, uh, a half-day workshop I did at the Web 2.0 Expo. Um, and um, I think for people coming to Drupal camps, um, it's easy to talk about sort of Drupal theoretical stuff and look at a lot of examples of things in Garland and stuff like that. But it's also easy to come away without actually having seen a whole lot of Drupal sites. Um, and I find when I get into conversations with people, you know, oh, well, did you know so-and-so is running Drupal? And people don't. The word about kind of uh, popular Drupal sites or, or sites that you've heard of um, that are running Drupal, a lot of shops tend to build them, uh, you know, quietly and launch them. Um, uh, or the companies will, will build them internally and launch them. And, and the world doesn't really find out about them. So I thought it would be really good to just sort of do kind of a showcase and show a whole bunch of different sites uh, that are using Drupal and talk about why um, a lot of them chose to use Drupal and, and sort of show some similarities between them. And also show, I, I think when you install Drupal for the first time, you kind of feel like, eh, it's like a blogging software. I mean, it kind of does blogging stuff out of the box. But uh, yeah, there's, yeah, you've done that. And uh, uh, but. Uh, um, but it's not, and I mean, as a blog, it's like, well, WordPress is actually kind of prettier. Um, but, uh, but we're gonna show a lot of sites that are not, that are far from blog sites. Um, and, then, and then I wanna build a site. I wanna show you what it takes to build a site. Uh, obviously, it's like best case scenario for building a website, uh, but we're gonna build a website in 25 minutes. Um, and it's a little bit weird kind of to split the session between these two things, but uh, I think even for people who are kind of experienced with Drupal, there's probably some stuff in here uh, for both of these sort of halves of things that, that might be new for you. Um, and, uh, 
And also, who would want to watch an hour of somebody building a website? That would be boring. So we're going to do it in 25 minutes. That would be much more interesting. Uh, so uh, anyways, so probably the most popular, uh, well, sort of the canonical Drupal site is Drupal.org, uh, which, lo and behold, runs Drupal. It's also one of the oldest Drupal sites. Uh, for people who are new to Drupal, this is not only where you download Drupal. This is, uh, as Todd was saying, it's the central place where uh, where Drupal happens. Uh, all of the issues, bug reports, uh, um, all the modules for Drupal, well, the majority of modules for Drupal, um, themes for Drupal, we're getting into distributions um, and stuff like that, all happen on Drupal.org. Um, it is a very popular site. We've got a lot of users who who use Drupal.org and the associated group site and the API site uh, as part of their business and they need to access this. I mean, it, it is a mission critical Drupal site. Uh, so as we talk about all of these sort of, you know, enterprise Drupal sites and uh, companies that are uh, making money per se, uh, you know, with their, with their Drupal site, selling things on their, on their Drupal site. I mean, Drupal.org is really the heart of, of Drupal and, it, and it, it's easy to forget that when you start talking about uh, Drupal sites. We recently had a redesign um, actually, the redesign happened after I originally did, did the first version of this presentation. So later on, you'll see the old version of the site. But I, I did a new screenshot for the uh, for Drupal.org. Probably the biggest coup in the past. Well, coup is a bad word for it. The biggest. Uh, <laughs> uh, the biggest uh, uh, accomplishment uh, for Drupal uh, is uh, in the past couple of years uh, is the White House website. Um, which is whitehouse.gov. Uh, I mean, this also represents a big, big breakthrough for open source in government in general. I think historically uh, there was a lot of uh, FUD, uh, which stands for fear, uncertainty, and doubt uh, around open source, particularly spread around by the commercial uh, enterprise software companies saying, oh, you can't trust Linux, you can't trust uh, you know, open source software, you don't know where it's been. Um, and, uh, and uh, you know, we're starting to see this filtered, filtered down. I mean, uh, the, the White House website, incidentally, the color on this projector is wonderfully exciting. Um, oh, and I pressed the button that did some, what's, oh, goodness. Uh, hold on a sec. 